in this activity, you have to make your way around a racetrack. But unfortunately, there are a number of holes in the track that you have to fill in in order to proceed to the next part of the race course. Zoom. Race up to the first obstacle. Two and only two of these pieces of pie around the sides, all the ones that have a fraction written on them, you can use to try and fill that hole. So this is to work on your concept of fractions, your visualisation of fractions, of proportions. You might have thought those two would fill it perfectly, but we can see there's still a gap there, so they don't quite work. So that's the first task, is can you find the right two pieces to fill the gap? When you think you have, you then got to think, okay, that was a seventh plus a twentieth, and the aim is to get you starting to think about adding fractions. Look at that piece of pie, if they had have filled it, how much, how many times do you think that piece of pie would fit into this circle? I'd say four, maybe just a bit under four, so it's going to be a fraction that's a bit bigger than the quarter. Uh, I'm going to go for um, a bit bigger than the quarter, let's say 0.31. I could enter it as a decimal. I could say, okay, 31 hundredths. I could enter it as a fraction. And because it's about fractions, this is formatted, so it only makes fractions. You can't click anywhere else because you're not going to change it, so you can't. Um, if I'm right, it will tell me, no, I'm, it's too big, so I'd have to estimate again, but I can't do that until my next go. It's now my friend's turn to zoom up to the obstacle. If I filled this in correctly, they don't have to do that. They can just go straight to the Excel file and go, OK, 31 thirtieths. Well, I think it's uh, a bit, the, the fraction's a bit bigger than that. I think it's about 40 hundredths. That would be a foolish thing to say because it does already tell you it's too big. But imagine they did. You'd be rubbing your hands in glee. Uh, it's too big again, unsurprisingly. So we've zoomed up to this. Both of us got it wrong, so we don't move. It's now back to this person's turn again. If they get it right in Excel, they zoom up to the next obstacle and the same activity. Find two pieces from the side to fill that gap and then go to Excel to enter your estimate for obstacle B. It helps doing this to have a good uh, range of fractions already in mind that help you to estimate. There's a third. We can see that piece would fit roughly three times into this whole circle. That's a half. I'm sure we're all can see that fits in twice. There's a quarter. If that's a quarter, this must be three quarters. So another way to do it is, if I want to try and estimate this orange section here, I might say just the gap, how big is that, and take that away from one. It's a third away from one, two thirds. A fifth, slightly less than a quarter, good idea to have a, and then it's a good idea to have an estimate of a small piece of pie. Um, this is a tenth, if you knew what that looked like. That's going to help you with the estimations. So let's look back. Your aim, zoom up to the obstacles, find two pieces that have a fraction written on them to fit in there, and then estimate what the sum of those fractions are in the Excel sheet. And if you're right, you can then move on to the next obstacle. If you're not right, you stay where you are, and it's your partner's turn. Best of luck.